Hi everybody, welcome to my guide to creating RGB colour images from single monochrome images taken with a red, green and blue filter using Photoshop this time. Of course my guide as you can see on screen there is available from my website which you can see just over here. So uh, www.star-gazing.co.uk Okay, but you haven't heard from me going on about my book what you want to do is know how to do this image processing. So I'm going to open some images. So here they are. So we've got three images. These were taken by the school's space telescope or the national school's telescope. And you can see there's a blue image you can see there, a red image you can see there, and a green image there. They're all monochrome images but they've all been taken with the different colored filters so they're getting different parts of the galaxy the whirlpool galaxy messier 51 here so if we go from one to the other you can see there are differences in those images and if you combine those together in the correct manner you do get a color image out of it oops let's uh, put that on screen so you can see that better so that's the blue one the red one let's fit that on screen as well and the green one let's fit that on screen too so you can see maximum value okay so what we're going to do to start the process it's a lot easier in photoshop than it is in affinity photo i'm going to start with the red one here so i'm going to click on that and select that particular image so here's the red one so that's the monochrome image taken with the red filter I'm going to select all you get these marching ants going all the way around the edge as you can see and then I'm going to copy so edit copy so that's copied that red image into the clipboard so we're now ready to start creating the image so the way I do this there's so many ways of doing things that everybody's got their own method but this is the way I do it at the moment that may change as we go and I go to file new so we're going to create a new document and we want clipboard because we want it to have the same dimensions as the clipboard we've just copied and then down here just check that this is rgb color because that's what we want to create we want to create a red green and blue color image from those three images and click create so here we go are we get a brand new image white background completely nothing on it it's completely white let's just fit that on the screen so if you go down here usually next to the layers there's channels so this is where we're going to put the color information in so click channels you can see rgb which is a combined effect of the red green and blue channels below it so if you remember i copied the red image into the clipboard so if i go back in here and i highlight that red channel you can see it's highlighted with the eye and there's nothing in the other three if we then paste, you can use Control V or just edit paste. And there you go. That's now copied that information into that red channel. OK, so go back and select the blue channel. So select all, edit, copy, go back to the new file. Click on the blue channel and then paste that in there so edit paste or control v we'll do the same thing and then go back to the green image here it is there select all edit copy go back to the new image click the green channel and then paste the green image in there and if we now click the rgb i highlight everything there's your color image it's all ready to start processing and away you go simple easy don't forget my guides are available from the website if you found this video useful please like it and subscribe to my channel bye folks